everyone. It's Miss McDonald here. I really miss all of you third graders. And I just wanted to show you a video and remind you about how to round to the nearest 10 and the nearest 100. So we are going to start with rounding to the nearest 10. So if you remember our little, um, our little slogan, our uh, song, <laughs> here it goes. So we mark your place, look next door. Five or greater, add one more. Four or less, let it rest. Okay, so when we round to the nearest tens place, we are, first of all, we have to determine which number is in the tens place. If I have the number 12, there's two numbers. Which one's in the tens place? Yes, the one is in the tens place. The number 12 has one 10 and two ones. So the two is in the ones place. If we want to round to the nearest 10, then we have to mark our place. So we're rounding to the nearest 10s. Look next door. Who's next door? Number two. Is it five or greater? No. Four or less? Yes. So we will let it rest. The number 12 rounds down to 10. If I had the number 35, what number is in the tens place? The three, good job. So we have three tens and five ones. If we want to round to the nearest tens place, we find the place. Look next door. Is that five or bigger? Yes. So we're going to add one more to the tens place. So 35 rounds up to 40. All right, are you all ready to try some on your own? If I have the number 42, we're going to round to the nearest tens place. We're going to mark our place, look next door, five or greater, Four or less? Yes. So we're going to let the four rest. So 42 rounds down to 40. If I had the number 67, we're going to round to the nearest tens. We're going to find our place, look next door. Is that five or bigger? Yes. So we're going to Add one more. 67 rounds to 70. Good job. All right. So numbers in front stay the same. Numbers behind, zero is their name. So rounding to the nearest 10, if we have the number 23, we find our place, look next door. Is that five or bigger? No, four or less, so we let the two rest. 23 rounds down to 20. All right, 28. Find the place, look next door. The eight, is that five or bigger? Four or less? It's five or bigger, so we're going to add one more. 28 rounds to 30. Then number five, now we're trying to be tricky. So five, it only has one digit. That five is in the ones place. So we're still gonna look at the tens place. Find the place, look next door. Is that five or bigger? Mom. Yes, hi Kendra. 
So we're going to add one more. Five rounds up to ten. Is that your quest? Yes, it is. Can you back up a little? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay, back up, hun. Okay. The number two is nothing in the tens place. So we find our place, look next door. Is that five or bigger? Four or less? Yes, so we're going to let the zero rest. The two rounds down to zero because there's a zero right here. It's imaginary, but there's a zero there in front of the two, just as the five. Lastly, we have 136. Don't let it trick you. Just because there's three numbers, we're still rounding to the tens place. So we find the tens place, which is a three. Then we look next door at the six. Is that five or bigger? Yes. So we're going to add one more. 136 rounds up to 140. Great job. So if you remember, we have our little roller coaster. Anytime the number ends in zero, one, two, three, or four, it goes back down, it rounds down to zero, goes back down, it goes backwards down the track. Anytime a number ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it goes all the way down on the other side of the track. It's going forward. So we're going to round up. If it's four or less, we round down. Five or bigger, round up. Okay? All right, let's practice on rounding to the nearest 100. So it's the same concept, we just have more numbers now. Okay? So, let's see. Let's say I have 142. Okay? So I'm going to round to the nearest 100. So which number is in the 100s place? So if I have 142, I have one hundred, four tens, and two ones. So the one is in the 100s place. So I'm going to find my place, look next door. That four, is that five or bigger, four or less? Four or less. So I'll let the one rest. 142 rounds down to 100. It's closer to 100 than 200. The next one, let's see. 356. I have three hundreds. Okay. Five tens. Whoops. Five tens and six ones. That one looks kind of silly, I'm sorry. So we're going to find our place. Look next door, is that five or bigger? Yes, so we're going to add one more. So 356 rounds to 400. It rounds up to 400. It doesn't go down to 300, it's closer to 400. And we'll go over more later with the number line. So this is what it means when it says, whew, there's almost, yeah, I did knock that down. Sorry. Silly me. Okay. It says numbers in front stay the same. So my number in front, the one. No, that's, that's a different one. Sorry. Ignore that. That's when we have thousands, okay? Numbers behind, zero is their name. So, I have 142, I have one, and then anything behind that is going to be a zero, zero. This number will change, anything behind it will be zero, zero, okay? Now, we're gonna round these to the nearest 100. 134, we find the hundreds place, look next door, is that five or bigger, four or less? Four or less, so we'll let the one rest. 134 rounds down to 100. 187, find the place, look next door. Is that five or bigger? Yes, so we'll add one more. 
187 rounds up to 200. 25, there's nothing in the hundreds place. There could be imaginary zero if you want to fill it in. So we're going to find the place. Look next door. Is that five or bigger? No, it's four or less. Let the zero rest. 25 is closer to zero than 100. Two more. 75. There's nothing in the hundreds place, so I'm going to put a zero there. We're going to find the place. Look next door. Is that five or bigger? Yes. So we're going to add one more. 75 is closer to 100. Good job. Last one. Here's where numbers in front stay the same, comes into play. So we're still rounding to the nearest 100. But this number has a 1,000 in it. Our number is 1,582. So we're still rounding to the nearest 100, so we're going to find the 100's place, which is a 5. Look next door. Is that 8, 5 or bigger? 4 or less? 5 or bigger. So we're going to add one more. So the 5 will change into a 6, but what will happen with the 1? Numbers in front stay the same. So that one will drop down. Numbers behind, zero is their name. So remember, the five's going up to six, and we have zero, zero. So 1,582 rounds up to 1,600. All right, well, thank you. That's the end of our lesson today, and I hope you all have a fabulous week. Bye.